Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Corky's World Channel. I'm Corky, as always, and welcome back to the Retro Corner, where today we're going to start playing a Evil Dead, A Fistful of Boomstick, on the, uh, on the original Xbox. A little backstory to this game. I was, I was a big, I'm still, I still consider myself a, a pretty good Evil Dead fan. I'm a huge Bruce Campbell fan, even though it's, like, it's pretty obvious that the dude's probably a super asshole. Uh, but I think he's funny. I think he's charming. I love Evil Dead 1, 2, uh, Army of Darkness, the TV show that I think was on Spike, that but I watched on YouTube and Netflix and, and the like. I was a fan of all of those. And when I was, uh, before those came out, when I was younger, I was trying to get my hand on anything Evil Dead. And this was around the time when I had a, oh, it just started for me. Okay. When I had an Xbox. So when I found out there was not one, but two Evil Dead games on the Xbox, I knew I had to have them both. And I bought them both at the same time. And the fact that this, the first one was able to get something other than this is astonishing because guys i love evil dead but i remember this game fucking sucking like being awful to the point that it was almost unplayable you got like no direction no help i, I just remember being incredibly frustrated and thinking wow i wasted the little bit of money i had on this game that's that's just junk but here we are i'm older i'm wiser maybe now i'll be able to play the game a little bit better I don't know how much of this we're going to play. I'd love to say this is going to be a five spot in the retro corner, but I can't commit to fully playing almost an hour of this game like with the memory in the back of my head of what it used to be like. So we're going to we're going to start a new game. And we're going to try our damnedest to 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 beat it. If I recall correctly, this is Bruce Campbell doing his voice though. Seem hard to believe, but these chiseled good looks have seen a whole lot of ugly. So I guess I'd have to start with the book. Legend has it that it was written by the Dark Ones. Necronomicon ex mortis. Yeah, that's 100% him doing his voice. It doesn't look like it's very... It's very loud on the, the game audio, though. And accidentally unleashed the deadites in the woods outside Dearborn. That's when I got involved. To make a long story short, I was sent to hell and back. And then back again. I also want to apologize again for every time we do Retro Corner when we have these little blackouts when it's just like a little lag in um in the scene or if I'm talking it just cuts to something else. I apologize, it's just the way we record, I'm working on it. But uh but not super hard, so Welcome, true believers, to another chilling episode of Mystery. Welcome, boob. Yeah, y'all can't hear shit. Join me tonight as if I do that. And best-selling author Professor Alex Eldridge, author of the critically acclaimed Necronomicon. Yeah. Welcome, Professor. Thank you, Tricia. It's truly an honor to be here in the very town where my late colleague Professor Nobi began his career. <laughs> oh, the honor is all mine. Your brilliant modern translation. I'm excited, uh, guys! I'm so excited to be playing Xbox again. This is this is nostalgic as fuck. That hack wouldn't know the real Necronomicon from a roll of extra fluffy two ply. Tell. I'm awful sorry about Jenny. Tonight would have been ten years, right? Oh yeah, thanks for bringing that up, Chief. You're a real pal for throwing some margarita salt on the wound there. Perhaps you'd like to poke me in the eye with an umbrella and straw while you're at it. Ash is an asshole, and Bruce Campbell is an asshole. <laughs> but still, he was he was like my idol for a good like four years of my life. Do you hear that? The guy called me a lunatic. Can you believe that? You want to see a lunatic, buddy? Why don't you come on down here and I'll show you a whole bottle full of lunatics. Oh, absolutely fascinating. Tell him. Soldier Boy, tell him. These, this is true Xbox material right here, like graphics-wise. This is rough. There I was. 
face to face with the mother of all I don't th like it looks black on my screen but I don't see it making a cut on yours Thanks to my investigative work into the Nobi case I've managed to uncover this amazing piece of evidence. Yeah, nothing happens on yours so maybe it's just me being an idiot It grabs a knife and I... In a Mysteries of the Occult exclusive, we're going to play the tape live in studio. Huh? He said, what? <laughs> oh, I can hardly no. wait. Wait. What the hell are you doing? Don't play it. Don't play that... Taste dropper. Mantos Nosferatus. I wonder if that's the original recording of the tape line. All right, now I can tell that the, the volume's getting where it needs to be for you guys, so... Also, sorry if there's reverb. I want to hear this, and there's, there's no way for me to listen to this audio. So, as I was saying, I remember this game being fucking trash. And it's not like we're off to a great start with graphics or anything. But somehow, it got a sequel called Evil Dead Regeneration. And we're going to be playing that fucker after this. And I'm jacked for that game because I actually completed that one you know in the sense of I started the game and got to the ending oh my god remember loading screens like they still exist in some games but I feel like for a good part See just how bad the situation was. It was bad. Told me to get a whole lot worse unless someone hit the deadites where it hurt. And seeing as how the TV station was their shortcut into this world, I figured that was a pretty good place to start. But first, I had to find more weapons. My trusty boomstick was almost empty. A fistful of boomstick. He said it. To do: get inside the TV station, find more weapons. I've been playing a lot of Switch, so. Oh, Jesus. Okay, camera. <laughs> Last night. Okay. Alright. So that resets camera. Oop! You're stinking up my town. Hey, nice complexion for a freak. Does your mother kiss that face? The Y button is literally like snarky taunt. <laughs> okay. Bam. Press Y to yeah, Y to talk to other characters. Whoa. Were you born that ugly? Kids these days, huh? What are those things? What are those things? <laughs> There's too many ostriches. you think? Say you mind telling me. I'm sipping coffee. With a gun. Oh man, bad game, bad game or not, still getting pumped. Evil Dead, man, it's sick. The first one is rough. The second one is great. Army of Darkness is fantastic. TV show, pretty good. What did that say? Oh, okay. Blam. Hey, now that I know how to aim, I might actually be able to play this game. Say, Bub, is there another way in here? Bub. The boss has the key, but he didn't show up for work yet. You know, the guys from the day shift should have clocked out by now, but there have been some freaking noises coming out. <laughs> the freaking noises. Uh, sorry, pal. Sounds to me like your co workers are playing footsie with the forces of hell right now. <laughs> For your boss, though, put in a good word for you. That's what made e that's what made Army of Darkness so good because at that point Ash was so just like, "Fuck everybody, I'm the genius on all, I'm the expert on all this stuff. Y'all can get fucked." Oh, hello. Found a save game token. Damn it, this camera it sucks. Just 
screen went black, so I thought it was something happening, but it was just... I think I'm going to be so bummed if... What happens when I press start? Okay. What about this? <laughs> shop smart, shop S smart. Okay. Oh. Damn it. As I was saying... No. We're not going to use that yet. As I was saying, I've been playing a lot of Switch, so my, my A and B are, are like, well, switched. It just said, find Lumber Boss. I bet if I was listening to that guy's talking, I probably wouldn't be in the mess I'm in right now. But anyways, we'll figure it out in the next episode. So guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing if you did. I'm going to be really bummed if I said I played a bit of this game and literally this was all that happened. Sure, like surely, I'm an adult and I can look around and figure this out, or we can together. But man, I'll be so bummed if I if this dies right here. Alright guys, always, always, always remember to be good to yourself, be good to each other, and Ash and I will see you in the next episode. Later days! What do you say?